In a shadowy realm, far from the light of heaven, there were seven princes of hell, each ruling over their domain with a dark hand. These princes were known for causing trouble and leading people astray. The first prince was Lucifer, the embodiment of pride. He resided in a grand castle with walls made entirely of mirrors, so he could always admire himself. Lucifer was very good at making people feel like they were better than everyone else leading to fights and unhappiness when friends and families argued over silly things and competed against each other. Then there was Leviathan, the Prince of Envy, who lived in a gloomy forest of never-ending night. Leviathan was always looking at what others had with green eyes, whispering lies that made people want what wasn't theirs. This caused lots of sadness and anger, as friends envied each other over toys, relationships, and even caused them to steal from each other. Third was the fierce prince of wrath, named Satan, who made his home in a fortress surrounded by flames and thunder. Satan had a very short temper and liked to make people lose theirs. He'd make the smallest things seem like big problems, causing shouting and fighting over nothing at all. He created conflict and war all around the world, spreading his wrath. In the fourth position, but no less formidable, was Mammon the Prince of Greed, who hoarded treasures in his underground vault. Mammon loved gold and jewels more than anything and convinced others to do the same. He made people forget to share, leading to loneliness and greed as everyone wanted more toys, more clothes, more of everything just for themselves. The fifth prince was Belphegor, known for his sloth and laziness. Belphegor preferred to lounge in a dim, cozy cave, doing as little as possible. He was very persuasive, making everyday tasks seem too hard and naps too tempting. This led to chores undone and homework forgotten, as everyone felt too lazy to do their part. Sixth, there was Beelzebub, the Prince of Gluttony, who had a palace made entirely of candies and sweets. Beelzebub could never stop eating, and neither could those he influenced. He led people to eat too much, causing bad health, wasting food and forgetting the importance of sharing meals and moments together. Lastly, there was Asmodeus, the Prince of Lust, who lived in a mist of sweet perfumes and tempting whispers. <laughs> Asmodeus made people chase after their desires without thinking of the consequences, leading to broken friendships and hurt feelings as people forgot to care for each other's hearts. One day, a bright light shone in this dark realm, bringing a message of hope and love. A heavenly savior named Jesus Christ challenged the princes by teaching the people about kindness, patience, and generosity. Little by little, the people started to see the prince's tricks for what they were. They learned to be happy with what they had, to calm their anger, to share their riches, to complete their tasks, to enjoy food in moderation, and to love one another truly. As this happened, the influence of the seven princes of hell became weak and started to wane. Jesus filled the world with light and love. Because of him, people were freed from bad habits and found happiness in loving each other and God, bringing the kingdom of heaven.